So we have an M1 Mac Mini with 16 gigs of RAM. We have our Sonic X Mac server. Woo, that thing's heavy. And then we're gonna actually use two of these PCIe slot cards as well. So that's what we have. That's what we're gonna be combining today. And so let's take a closer look at the build. We got our server. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our Mac Mini and we're gonna carefully slide it into place here, moving these cables out of the way. Now there are some little pins I should point out. There's one here in this corner and in this corner. And those are the two that we need to slide into. And the good thing about that being so secure is it's not gonna move on us, so. Cool, so we have our Mac Mini in place now. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna work from my left to right and I'm gonna go ahead and power up this bad boy. Okay, that's in. So with these cables, they're extension cables. So they're gonna be connecting the Mac Mini to the ports at the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snip off this zip tie because it is not needed for what I am doing. So I'm gonna carefully cut this without cutting the cable. There we go. Move the zip tie to the side. So we're gonna go one by one. I am gonna start with the ethernet port. Carefully route that into the Mac Mini, followed by an HDMI, which goes here. And then we do have our two USBs. So one of them heads to the front and one of them heads to the back. Um, if you're like me, at some point, I'm gonna be adding a hub to this device. That way I don't have to take up both of my ports in the back for USB 3 because yes, the one downside about the Mac Mini M1 as of this moment is there's only two USB 3.0s and only two Thunderbolt 4s. So it is what it is though. We also have our Thunderbolt 3 in this case, even though there are they are Thunderbolt 4 ports. What we're gonna do with this one is feed it out this out hole at the very back here. And that's gonna go out to go around to get plugged in here. Now, another thing we can do, part of the uh, Summit package here is they send this really cool piece of gadget here. Now, what this does is it allows you to feed the cable in one way and then that will allow the head to stick out and uh, you can screw the head straight into the board for a more permanent solution. So let me go ahead and get that going for you here. Now this part was a little tough for me if I remember correctly, but hopefully I'll be able to get this. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Plug it in and then screw it into place, I should say, in this first port here. And then I'm gonna take the Thunderbolt port and connect it here. All right, so we got all our cables figured out here. So the next step is the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the screws out of the side here, that way we can install our card. So there is a tool that comes with the case. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the USB port here. Got the screw off, all right. So now we can take this piece out, set it out of the way. We'll take our first card and we'll carefully Try to get it in there. And the head needs to fit through this little gap on this side. There we go, that looks wonderful. So we're in on the pins there and we're also in on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten back up what I just loosened up. Cool, one down, one to go. Now this other side should be easier. I'm gonna refeed this Thunderbolt cable back through, plug it back in, and I'm gonna rotate this bad boy. All right, and I guess I can reconnect the USB. Cool. All right, now that that's done, let's put the second card in on the other side here. Same thing will apply, we'll put the pins in the right direction. Now this one has to be the opposite direction. So this one's gonna be, I guess, upside down. We'll take it that way. We'll put our uh, head through here and then we'll make sure the pins line up as we push this into place. Bingo. So this one has a cutout on the side which is gonna make uh, screwing this in much easier than before. There's our screw. Cool. So we got that screw tightened. We got our two cards in, we got our Mac Mini in. Um, this is ready to be sealed up. Just double checking all the pins here. All the cables are in place. And it looks like we're all systems go. Well, there you have it folks. We've got our Mac Mini build 
with the Sonnet uh, 1U rack case here. That's pretty much it. I will be showing this in my cart and how it works um, in the near future. So stay tuned to that and have a good rest of your day.